r slash am i the a-hole am i the a-hole for saying i love you more than anything to my daughter in front of my wife my daughter is three and sometimes gets scared i'll stop loving her when she does something bad for no good reason mind you i make sure she always knows why i'm upset and that i'm mad at her actions not her today she bumped a glass off the table and started crying she asked if I still love her and I said I love you more than anything and gave her a kiss. My wife was watching and stormed off. I made sure my daughter was fine and cleaned up the glass and went to go see what was going on. My wife was crying and calling me an a-hole who doesn't love her. I guess I have two irrational three years olds now. I said of course I love her and asked why she was wigging out. She said that because I said the above phrase to my daughter. It meant she didn't mean as much to me. Is this really something I'm not supposed to say? My mother said it to me. And my dad didn't freak out. Dude. NTA. Your wife needs therapy stat. That's not a normal response. Edit. Thanks to the kind stranger who gave me my first silver. Whoa. My first gold too. Thanks again. ETA. Yes. I think she needs therapy. No. I don't think this means something is wrong with her. No. That doesn't mean I don't think they need to have a conversation first. OP. I sincerely wish you and your family the best and hope you can get to the bottom of this in a way that's beneficial to your family. That's what I was thinking too. It's really sad actually. I genuinely hope she is okay. Frowning face. NTA. Your wife or mom shouldn't be competing with your daughter. Surely she can comprehend why a parent would say that to their child. It doesn't mean you love her any less. It was meant to console your daughter. NTA. Also, I guess I have two irrational three years olds now. I love that. This is Saru weirdo. Your wife has major insecurity issues. Perhaps this is where your daughter is getting us from? Everyone sucks here because I think there is more going on beneath the surface. You posted a story in which your wife seems obviously irrational, and you still couldn't resist the opportunity to take a dig at her on top of that. Seems like you're not helping this dynamic. I thought the same. The fact that he took a dig at her suggests that passive-aggressive comments like this are made frequently. Thus the insecurity. Women who have had children are self-conscious BC of changes to their bodies. If a reaction came out of nowhere, then there is maybe an issue. But, OP should take some time and reflect on his own behavior. You guys gave me back faith in Reddit. I was freaking out seeing the lol your wife crazy train here. My thoughts exactly. People are saying the child's anxiety is to come from the mother, but it could also stem from watching him be dismissive and insulting to her mother. I'm torn. You're NTA for telling your daughter that, but you are TA for calling your wife an irrational 3 year old. Am I the a-hole for telling a person who is allergic to water that their saliva is like 99% H2O and then having them have a huge panic attack causing them to go to the air? So there's this weird friend of a friend. I have who says she's allergic to water, like, severely allergic, she says if she drinks a mouthful of water she goes into full blown anaphylactic shock and she says she has to drink only whole milk every day, she says even intravenous saline causes her to go into shock, well my friend organized a dinner and she was there too, I remember her making a big deal that there's no gravy on her dinner because the gravy has too much water and if she eats it she'll go to the air. I asked her why she was freaking out about the gravy and she reminded me about her H2O molecule allergy. I then pointed out to her that the saliva she swallows all the time every day is literally 99.5% of the H2O molecules she claims to be deathly allergic to and that she was a drama queen with a fake allergy. I pointed out to her that if a sip of water sends her into shock then a single swallow of her saliva will send her into shock too. Shortly after she began to have what looked like a panic attack and long story short she had to go to the air. According to my friend I ruined the dinner so I'm not sure if I should have said that or not. I was already a little pissed off because before I came to the dinner I watched a documentary about people who have nothing wrong with them but claim they have this and that and get money donations for being illness fakers. Your friend is beyond stupid. Milk is mostly water. Every liquid humans consume is mostly water. NTA. Humans are also mostly water. I say NTA. Being allergic to water is bullshit. Edit. Yes. There's some skin condition that looks like a water allergy. This isn't a dietary allergy. My sister gets hives from the rain. 
and I get dyshidrosis dermatitis from hand washing. So I would generally say I'm sensitive to water. She's tay for saying she has a H2O molecular allergy and your NTA for calling her out on her bullshit. NTA. It is physically impossible to be allergic to water. Just by eating with someone that stupid. The dinner was ruined. This has nothing to do with you. In regards to dietary allergies. You're right. You can have a physical. Touch allergy sensitivity to water though. NTA I'm sorry your friends in Belgian attention seeking faker. I mean duck logic and facts. Next thing you know she'll have an EP pen for her new air allergy. NTA that girl is either attention seeking or mentally ill and genuinely believes she has this allergy to water. Either way seeing a doctor is the best thing for her. Everyone sucks here. That's a very unkind way to treat someone who needs help. You can be right as much as you want. But people with phobias aren't always able to react rationally. Was going to say ESH. But decided to go with it. Uh, this person either has a legitimate problem with water. Or they have a legitimate mental health problem. Just because you got annoyed at them. Doesn't mean you have to be an ass to them. They weren't directing their issues at you. So you shouldn't have said the things you did. It would have been best to deal with it for the evening and then let your friend know later that you don't want to hang out with this other person in the future. Am I the a-hole for letting my brother call me dad and refusing to tell him the ugly truth? I'm well aware that this story sounds extremely hard to believe and fake. And I'm aware that there will be many shitpost comments below. Sorry, but this story is 100% true and it is a hot topic of discussion in my family at the moment. I was born when my parents were both 19. And my only other brother, let's call him Josh, was born when they were 42. They divorced shortly after Josh was introduced to the world. He was 4 months old at the time. And they both wanted nothing to do with the child. At the time. I was 23 and I was living alone with my then girlfriend who was 21, now my wife, and I done my best to convince at least one of them to take care of young Josh for his sake and the family's sake, but they refused adamantly and said that I should be taking custody of him instead, so I became legal guardian of my brother and he's been living with us for the past 12 years and things have been going really smooth for us. Josh, now almost 13. Has been calling me dad and my wife mum and our two children. 4F. 9M. His siblings and he has absolutely no idea about his real parents. And to be honest. I let all of that slide. He has no idea that I'm really his blood brother and not his father. And I'm starting to feel guilty and a little weird. Some of my uncles and aunts come to visit occasionally and they are really disgusted at the fact he calls me dad and they are surprised I haven't told him the truth. They constantly message me. Talk to me in private and I cannot chatter them without this one particular topic rising up. Badgering me to let him know already but I refused. I discussed this with my wife and she thought it would be wrong to tell him the truth because none of my parents wanted to take care of him and I'm the only person in the world who gave him the father figure everyone deserves. I feel that he has the right to know what he is to me and what I truly am to him. But he suffered enough already and I just want things to continue how it is. Reddit. Am I the a-hole? Would I be the a-hole if I let him know the truth? This is a good topic to discuss with a therapist or counselor that specializes in adoption related issues. My understanding is that it can be very distressing to a child or adult to abruptly find out that they've been adopted. Most things I have read indicate it's best to let the child know early on that they came from a different mommy's tummy and then went to their mommy and daddy or something along those lines. Your brother is past that point, but you are better off acting on this sooner than later. It's better that he find out from you and your wife, otherwise, eventually someone is going to spill the beans. Yeah, talking to a therapist counselor beforehand is excellent advice. NTA, the a-holes are your nosy uncles and aunts. You've raised him since he was a baby. You are the only paternal, and your wife, maternal, figure he has known. But I think you'll shock him. If not turn his world upside down. But given your family dynamic. It very well might be that these uncles and aunts do it because they feel he should know. So it might be best if he heard it coming from you. NTA. 
Dude. Did your uncles and aunts step up and take care of the kid when his bio parents threw him under the bus? No. Then they can step off. You raised your son as his father and that matters more than accidents of biology. And it's common for adopted children like your son not to know the details until their teenage years or later. Hope you're getting child support from the a-hole bio parents. That being said, Josh is getting old enough that it might be appropriate to tell him about his biological ancestry in your own way before one of your other family members decides to take matters into his own hands. Egg your bio parents trying to guilt Josh into supporting them in their old age. Telling him is your decision. But if he hears it, he deserves to hear it from you. No way holes here. I completely get where your uncles are coming from. The little guy deserves to know the truth. But it doesn't have to be now. And it certainly doesn't have to be explained as your parents wanted nothing to do with you when he's older you can explain some version of when you were born. Our parents were going through a really rough divorce. And neither of them could take care of you. I loved you so much that I wanted to raise you as a son. You have been the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I'm so glad to have you in my life. I know this is a lot to take in. And you might have a million questions or you might need some space to digest all of this. I'm here for you whatever you need. This is honestly a great way to tell him. Part of me is saying that I should tell him this right now before my other relatives tell him. In a much worse manner. But at the same time. Part of me is saying hey. I think it's a little too early. And this is exactly what is tearing me apart. It's definitely not too early. Common wisdom is that you start telling a child as soon as they can start to understand about mommies and daddies. In an age appropriate manner. And you definitely want to be the one to tell him. So you should really do it sooner rather than later. Yes. You're right about that too. So. This might be hard to believe. But I grew up in a very similar situation. Around 14. I learned that my parents were actually my grandparents. And my older sister was actually my biological mother. It was a lot to deal with. Honestly, there were a lot of times that I wished I never knew that. But now I'm 22. And at the end of the day, my parents are my parents. And my sister is my sister. And I love them all. They genuinely wanted to do what was best for me. That being said, I don't think you'd be the R if you told him. The most important thing is for you and your wife to be there for him as his parents. He will be hurt that his biological parents didn't want him. Remind him that you want him. And tell him all the ways of having him as your son has made your life better. Tell him that you are still his dad as long as he wants you to be. The truth is always best even if it's a hard truth. NTA. You are the legal guardian and you raised him as your son. Therefore, he is your son. But, you do need to tell him the truth. Please find a therapist and work with the therapist to help you tell your son the truth. This is talk to a therapist level. Not hey random internet folks. Am I an a-hole? Way above the subreddit's pay grade. Bro, you made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price.